Hey guys, Julie here, creator and founder of parttimebusinessbuilders.com and digitaldirectsales.com. And I was just doing some keyword research for a couple ad campaigns that I'm currently working on. And uh, the other day I also made a video about the digital economy and this new ebook I wrote. And uh, it'll be out this week. Um, and I will send it out to you if you're on my list. If you're not on my list, get on my list and I will send it out to you. And then uh, I will start running campaigns to it. But I'm looking for a couple people to read it up front and give me some feedback so hopefully you'll get on that list and get that book up front but basically i was talking about how the digital economy is is overthrowing the traditional economy brick and mortar stores are slowly but surely um going down they're not they're downsizing most of all most of them are downsizing closing stores and and i didn't want to just be like the guy who just says stuff and doesn't mean it or doesn't back it up um this is about.com website it's about money and here's a report of the store closings in 2016. Um, just between Macy's, Gap, Walgreens, and Office Depot, that's probably 10 to 15,000 jobs. I'm just guessing, but I'm ballparking. I think I read somewhere that Macy's alone, what they're planning on closing, is close to 6,000 jobs. And back here, the one I was just on before this actually talks about the Macy closing. Uh, Macy's announced on September 8th, 2015, that it has planned to close 35 to 40 underperforming brick and mortar retail stores in the 2016 calendar year. Underperforming brick and mortar retail stores, 35 to 40 stores. So that's about 6,000 jobs in, uh, from another report I read. So here's another large list of other stores that are closing, uh, brick and mortar retail stores that are closing their stores or planning on closing stores in 2016. Office Depot, 400 stores. Barnes and Nobles, 223 stores through 2023. Now, if you don't think that Amazon is eating Barnes and Nobles lunch, um, you're crazy. Unless they already own them and they're just downsizing them. they pro I would have bought them by now if I were Amazon, but this isn't about that. Um, also, uh, Pier 1, 100 stores. Gap, 35. Gap's a huge company. 35 stores um, closing or planning on closing in 2016. Yep, this one's 2016. So Target's going to close one store, so they're not doing that badly. Uh, but I have to say that these stores are losing to the online retail market. So most businesses so basically most businesses have to evolve onto the internet and onto online because that's where people are going to find them um going out into big stores and going out to people's offices and and going out and about isn't as appealing as it used to be you know the traffic there's all this other stuff so online and you know security and just our safety alone in many places it's just cheaper and 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 safer <laughs> i guess to uh to buy online and uh you know brick and mortar stores are always going to be there for probably groceries and stuff like that but the rest of the businesses out there have to really start thinking about not if they become obsolete but when and uh that's actually the title of my new ebook um how to survive and thrive in the booming digital economy it's not a matter of if you become obsolete it's a matter of when you will become obsolete, that, that your business will fall to the online um, platform, without a doubt, if you're not at least positioned to learn the basics and to get the education that you need in order to put yourself in front of a trend that is obviously going to be around for a long, long time. So, I mean, these are just, and I'll even read some, you know, uh, what does it say up here? Information for this 2016 store closing list was obtained from reports made available to the general public through news reports, corporate documents, and company press releases, and will be compiled and aggregated as new information is released throughout 2016. So if you want to bookmark this and keep um, keepaboutmoney.com, retailindustries.about.com, uh, bookmarked and you can check out what other stores are closing and what other stores get added but just these are big brand stores big box stores big brick and mortar stores that are closing so what do you think is happening to the mom and pa shop out there if they're not 
online, if their presence isn't online, whether it's through social media, whether it's through advertising, whether it's through blogging, whether it's through websites, whether it's through, you know, however you want to be available, whether it's through e-commerce, however you want to be available to your customers online, regardless of what you want to do, you have to get something on there. So like I mentioned in the book, that's what we do. We teach people and businesses how to get an online presence, get their businesses online, get businesses going online. Therefore, when when this whole thing just completely consumes the traditional economy, when the digital economy completely consumes the traditional economy, you'll be prepared to take advantage of that. So check us out at digitaldirectsales.com. And uh, I, I go way farther into depth on that. And I also... Um, will put you on the list to get the ebook where I dig a little bit and then give you an opportunity to figure out what it is we do and how you can become a student of this fine, fine work we call the digital economy. All right, guys, thanks again. Um, and I hope you found that interesting. But yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing that so many stores are, cl- and this is happening kind of under the radar. You know, you're not, you're not hearing all this on the news. Everything's all hunky dory on the news, you know. Everything's, it's election year in the U.S. anyways, or next year is, or something or another. Real close, so everything's got to look hunky-dory. Every, the economy's got to be great, you know. But obviously, from this list alone, you know that things are kind of struggling, at least. Or people are downsizing and they're contracting and not expanding. And we want to be, like my uh, Grant Cordon says, we want to always be expanding. We never want to contract. We always want to make more money. We don't want to learn how to save and it looks like these guys are all contracting um which puts us in a really good position if we're in the digital economy to to get in front of that and figure out a way to uh take advantage of it and monopolize on it so all right guys again digitaldirectsales.com sign up on that list you'll get yourself um you'll get yourself the ebook you'll get on the list again on the ebook and at least then you'll learn a little bit more about what we do all right cool